Welcome to Storytime Pals! Subscribe to keep the stories coming! Hi friends, it's your pal Amber here. Today, we're going to learn about thunder and lightning. Are you ready to read with me? Let's get started. Here comes a storm. Black clouds sweep across the sky. Strong winds whip through the trees. Lightning flashes. Thunder crashes. Rain begins to fall. This is a thunderstorm. Do you like thunderstorms? I do. But sometimes they can be a little scary. You know what helps me is learning more. Knowing more about stuff helps me be less scared of it. What about you? Let's read some more. How do thunderstorms happen? It takes a few steps for a thunderstorm to form. On hot days, puddles of water dry up. Your wet bathing suit dries too. <laughs> have you noticed that? Of course you have. <laughs> Where does the water go? It goes up into the clouds. You cannot see it, but this is happening all the time. Pretty cool, huh? How does this happen? Hot air turns water into a gas you cannot see. This gas is called water vapor. Vapor. Hot air rises like a balloon. It carries water vapor up to the clouds. Cold air in the clouds turns the water vapor back into water. Storm clouds hold billions of drops of water. Some drops join together. They get heavy and fall to the earth as rain. Winds push the other drops around in the storm clouds. The drops bump into one another. The bumping causes static electricity. Static electricity. Cool. You see a flash. You hear a sizzle. Sometimes static electricity makes your hair crackle when you comb it. When electricity starts to flow, it isn't static anymore. Electricity flows through the air like a river flows on the ground. When electricity flows through a cloud, a giant spark lights up the sky. This is lightning. Wow, so lightning is a giant spark in the sky. Cool. There are many types of lightning. Some of them are zigzag, ribbon, ball, and sheet lightning. Zigzag lightning follows two or more paths. It branches out like the limbs of a tree. Ribbon lightning looks like streamers in the sky. Astronauts, astronauts have seen other types of lightning. These strange glows above thunderstorms have been named blue jets, sprites, and elves. Huh. Blue jets rise from the tops of clouds. Sprites are flashes of red light. Elves are thin rings of light. Did you know that? I never knew that before. Huh blue jets, sprites, and elves. Neat. Scientists, scientists, are learning what causes these different kinds of lightning. They are studying lightning very carefully from both the earth and from outer space. Every lightning flash makes thunder. How does a flash of light make sound? That's a good question. As lightning flashes, 
it heats the air. The hot air pushes out, then it rushes back. The hot air pushes out again and rushes back, over and over. This makes the sound you hear. The sound is thunder. The sound of thunder travels fast, but light travels about a million times faster than sound. So you see lightning before you hear thunder. The sound of thunder may be scary, but it cannot hurt you. Lightning can be dangerous. Dangerous. It splits trees. It starts fires. Lightning can knock a person off his or her feet. If lightning strikes a person, he or she may be badly hurt. How can you be safe from lightning during a thunderstorm? Stay in a house or a car. Keep away from open doors and windows. Do not use the telephone, television, computer, or shower. If you are outside, stay away from water, open fields, and trees. Do not lie down on the ground. Take off any metal, like jewelry. As the storm moves away, thunder rumbles and rolls. Lifeguards warn swimmers to leave the water when thunderstorms are in the area. Yeah, and if you've ever been at the pool and you've heard thunder, the lifeguards make you get out of the pool too, right? That's happened to me before. When the storm stops, the air often feels cool and clean. Puddles left from the storm give birds a drink and kids a place to play. If the sun is shining after the rain, you may see a rainbow. And that is the coolest. And rainbows definitely can't hurt you. Oh my goodness, I learned so much today. Okay, let's see what the glossary says. Yes. Ah, let's learn clouds. Okay, clouds are clumps of tiny drops of water or ice floating in the air. Clouds are clumps of tiny drops of water or ice floating in the air. Huh, bunches of water together. I think we learned that at the beginning, right? It's good to think about it again. Electricity, energy made to flow, either by natural or human-made activity. Yeah, like that electricity ball that makes your hair stick out. Yes, okay. Lightning, a large spark caused by electricity traveling in the air. That's right. A large spark caused by the electricity river in the air. I remember that. Okay, static. Oh wait, spark, spark, a bright flash of electricity. <laughs> static, electricity, static electricity. Energy that is not moving. So, your hair when it sticks out, like from that ball. Static electricity. Thunder, the booming, rumbling sound that follows a flash of lightning. Crash! <laughs> Sounds much bigger than that, right? Water vapor, water that has been turned into an invisible gas. So awesome. The end. Thanks for reading with me. I hope you learned a lot. I sure did. I'll see you next time.